Muli Bonji Kipsters! If you watched Ms. Schwartz's morning meeting video this morning, you know what I just said. So I hopefully you started your day with that. Last week, we read the book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. Thumbs up if you remember it. I hope so. Did you know this book is actually a movie? Yeah, you can check it out on Netflix. I actually watched it this weekend and it's really good. There's so much from the book that's also in the movie. There's some parts of it that are a little bit sad, but overall it's a really great movie. And since we're doing so much learning from home, I thought it might be something good for you guys to check out. So ask your parents if you want to check out that movie. Today, we're going to read a short passage called William's Windmill. You read it. A lot of it should sound really familiar because we've learned so much about William. And we've actually had this thinking job before, so we're going to bring it back because I realized we have the thinking job and we don't always really answer it. So we're going to make sure that we really do that. So today, your thinking job is, how can we use the wind? You read it. Tell it to the sky. How can we use the wind? We're going to be listening for the best sentence in this passage to help us answer that question. What's your thinking job for today? You got it. Let's see if we can find the best sentence in this passage today to answer that question. Since we've already learned so much about William and his windmill from last week, I want to hear all the connections that you can make with this passage and the book and what you learned last week. So when I'm reading, and you hear something that you already knew, you're going to say so loud and proud, I knew that. What are you going to say? I should hear you saying that a lot when I'm reading this today. And to make it more fun, let's add in a windmill motion. So when you hear something that you remember from last week and a connection that you can make, you're going to go like this. I knew that. What are you going to do? Even louder and prouder. One more time. What are you going to do? There you go. So let's get to the passage. Can't wait to hear all the things that you know from before. Again, it's called William's Windmill. You can see the picture of it there. Let's start reading. William Kamkwamba grew up in Malawi. Yeah, we already knew that. Malawi is a country in Africa. Did you do it? See, first two sentences of the passage, and you already knew all of those things. Let's keep reading. When William was a boy, his village had a problem. Ooh, I heard that one. Yeah, we talked about his problem that he had. Does anyone remember that word about the problem that he had? Right, it was a drought. Yeah, let's keep reading. There was no rain. I heard you there. Food could not grow. Most people in the village were farmers. Many people were hungry. William went to the library. That should be a really loud one. We knew that. Yeah, he went to the library to learn so many things. He read science books. He learned that windmills are machines. They can change wind power into electrical power. William learned that windmills could pump water. Did you do it? Yeah, we learned that in the book last week. That could help his village grow food. William's windmill idea helped solve his village's problem. Oh, we got to do that one one more time all together. I knew that. Pat yourselves on the back. Kiss your brains. You are so smart. You've learned so much from William and his windmills. Excellent, excellent job. So we got to get back to our thinking job question. How can we use the wind? I'm going to put that passage, and I want you to find the sentence that best answers that question. How can we use the wind? Are you looking? Is it in this first paragraph? 
Uh, I don't think so either. What about this next one? Hmm, there was no rain. Food could not grow. That's not telling us how to use the wind. What about here in this third paragraph? I think it's there too. Yeah, the part where it says it can change wind power into electrical power. I'm going to underline that because it's a really important sentence to help us answer our question. They can change wind power into electrical power. That tells us how we can use the wind. Remember, he used the wind from the windmill to make electricity. So, to answer our thinking job question, how can we use the wind? We can use the wind for electricity. Mm -hmm. Can change wind power into electrical power. What should go in that blank? Think about it. I'm going to write it in. Let's see if we can get a brain match. I'm thinking, what can change the wind power into electrical power? Let's see if we can get a brain match. Did you say windmills? Say, I knew that. Excellent job. So how can we use the wind? Go through it one more time. We can use the wind for electricity. Windmills can change wind power into electrical power. Excellent work, Kipsters. All right, before we're done for today, we have one really fun activity for us to do. Last week, we tried to make our windmills being creative and doing whatever you could. I fixed this one so it spins nice. Pretty cool, right? Today, we're going to make a different kind of windmill, and you're actually going to get to see how we can use the wind to make it move. So if you're able to, it'll be in the next video, so I'll see you shortly. But these are some things that you're going to need to make our windmills. You need a pencil with an eraser. You need a piece of paper, any kind of blank piece of paper, or even if it has something on it, that's fine too. You're going to need a little bit of glue if you have that. A glue stick is actually a little bit better if you have that, but some kind of glue. And then you can ask your parents or someone for help finding like a little push pin or a tack or something. So if you have those materials, you can go take a look, and then I'll meet you soon for our fun activity. Can't wait.